Hi everyone, glad to see you again. Today I have something informative lined up for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay safe online cyber defense. Before we dive into the wacky world of website wizardry, we gotta lay down some ground rules. Think of this as the safety briefing before a roller coaster ride. Everything you're about to learn is strictly for educational purposes. We're talking about harmless fun here, not turning into cyber criminals. Using this knowledge for illegal activities is a big no-no. It's like using your mate's toothbrush to clean the bathroom, just wrong. So promise me and the internet police that you'll use your powers for good, not evil. Deal? Deal. Let's get cracking. Let's. All right. You've heard whispers of this inspect element thing, but what in the blue blazes is it? Imagine you're looking at a delicious cake. Inspect element is like pulling back the curtain to see all the ingredients and how they're put together. It's a tool built into every web browser. Chrome, Firefox, you name it. That lets you peek behind the scenes of a website. You can see the code, the building blocks that make the website look and act the way it does. Now you might be thinking, Hamish, I failed high school coding. This sounds way too technical. Don't worry, mate. It's much easier than it sounds. You don't need to be a coding whiz to use inspect element for a bit of harmless fun. It's as simple as using a TV remote point click and voila. Ready to unleash your inner web wizard? Whether you're a curious beginner or a seasoned tech enthusiast, the gateway to understanding how websites work is just a click away. Today, we're diving into the world of Inspect Element, a powerful tool that lets you peek behind the curtain of any website. Here's how you can access Inspect Element. First, open up your favorite web browser, Chrome, Firefox, Edge, or Safari. They all work. Head to any website you fancy. It could be your favorite news site, a social media page, or even your own blog. Go on, pick one, any website will do. This is your playground. Next, take a moment to explore the page. Find something that catches your eye, a headline, an image, a button, or maybe a quirky banner ad. Anything that tickles your fancy or sparks your curiosity is fair game. Remember, every element you see on a website is built from code, and you're about to see how it all comes together. Got it? Good. Now hover your mouse over that element and give it a right click. This is the secret handshake of web explorers everywhere. Instantly, you'll see a menu pop up with a bunch of options. This is your control panel for interacting with the website in new ways. Look for the option that says inspect or inspect element. It might vary slightly depending on your browser, but it's usually near the bottom of the menu. Go ahead and click it. This is where the magic happens. Boom! You've just opened up the magical world of Inspect Element. A new panel will appear, usually at the bottom or side of your browser window, revealing the hidden structure of the website. You'll see a panel on your screen filled with what might look like gibberish code at first glance. Lines of HTML, CSS, and maybe even some JavaScript. Don't be intimidated. This is the DNA of the website, and you're now looking at its inner workings. Don't worry. We're not going to be writing any code here. Just think of it as the website's blueprint, a behind-the-scenes look at how everything is built and styled. With Inspect Element, you can explore, experiment, and learn, all without making any permanent changes. Welcome to the backstage of the web. Now for the fun part, messing with stuff. This is where things get really interesting, and you get to see just how much control you can have over what appears on your screen. It's a little like being a magician, but instead of pulling rabbits out of hats, you're pulling pranks on web pages. Imagine you're scrolling through a news website and you spot a headline that's just begging for a little creative twist. Maybe you want to see what it would look like if the headline was about your favorite pizza topping taking over the world, or perhaps you want to add a joke that only your friends would get. The possibilities are endless and the only limit is your imagination. Changing headlines can be hilarious and it's a great way to surprise someone or just amuse yourself for a few minutes. To get started, open up your Inspect Element panel. This is your backstage pass to the inner workings of any website. Here you can see all the code that makes the page tick, and you can interact with it directly. Look for the line of code that contains the headline you want to change. You can usually find it by clicking on the headline itself on the page, or by hovering your mouse over different lines of code in the panel until the right section is highlighted on the website. Once you've found the right spot, double-click on the text within that line of code. This will allow you to edit it, just like you would in a regular text document. 
Suddenly the headline becomes editable. You can type anything you want, whether it's a clever pun, a wild story, or just something completely random. It's your canvas, so have fun with it. Go wild. Change the headline to whatever pops into your head. Maybe you want to see what the site would look like if it announced that cats have been elected as world leaders, or that chocolate is now a legal currency. The power is in your hands, and the results can be as funny, bizarre, or creative as you want. It's a harmless way to play with the news and see your ideas come to life, even if just for a moment. When you're happy with your new headline, just hit enter to save your changes. Instantly, the headline on your screen will update to show your custom text. It's like magic. The headline transforms right before your eyes. You can even take a screenshot to share your creation with friends or post it online for a good laugh. Show it off to your friends and watch their reactions, or maybe use it to play a harmless prank on a family member. The look of surprise or confusion can be priceless. But remember, this change is only happening on your screen. No one else will see your altered headline unless you show them directly. Think of it like doodling on a photocopy of a newspaper. It's fun and creative, but it doesn't actually change the real thing for anyone else. So go ahead, experiment, and enjoy your newfound editing powers. Just don't forget it's all in good fun. Think changing headlines is fun? Wait till you get a load of image swapping. It's like playing digital dress-up with websites. First, find an image on the website you want to change. Maybe it's a logo, a product photo, or, you know, a picture of your least favorite celebrity. Next, right-click on the image and select Inspect or Inspect Element, just like we did before. Now this time, look for a line of code that starts with IMG. This is the code that tells the website to display the image. Then look for a part of that code that says SRC equals sign. This is followed by a web address or URL that points to the location of the image file. Copy that URL and then head over to Google Images or any other image source and find a replacement image you like. Copy the URL of your new image and paste it over the old URL in the inspect element panel. Hit enter to save your changes. Presto! The original image will be replaced with your chosen image. You can swap out logos, replace product photos with pictures of your cat. The possibilities are only limited by your imagination. Ever stared at a website and thought, wow, this could really use a splash of color? Maybe the design feels a bit too plain, or you just want to have some fun and see what happens when you shake things up. Well, you're in the right place, because today we're going to add a bit of pizzazz to a boring website and make it pop. Let's play with some colors and see how a few tweaks can totally transform the look and feel of a page. It's easier than you might think, and you don't need to be a coding expert to get started. First things first, find a button on the website. Any button will do. Buttons are everywhere. They're the gateways to actions, and they're perfect for experimenting with color. Maybe it's a submit button, a learn more button, or something that says sign up or get started. Or even the dreaded unsubscribe button. Just kidding, don't actually unsubscribe. But really, any button you see is fair game for this experiment. Next, right-click on the button and select Inspect or Inspect Element from the menu that appears. This will open up the browser's developer tools, which might look a little intimidating at first. But don't worry, we're just here to have some fun. You know the drill by now if you've ever peeked behind the scenes of a website. It's like opening the hood of a car to see how everything works. This time, we're on the lookout for a line of code that controls the button's background color. It's usually tucked away in the CSSS, which is the part of the code that handles all the styling. Look for something that says background color or just background. This is where the magic happens. Double click on the color code next to it. It'll look something like hash 000000 for black or maybe RGB 000. These codes represent the exact color the button is using. Now you can type in a new color code if you know your hex codes. Maybe hash F5733 for a bold orange, or hash 00FFCC for a cool teal. If you're not sure which color to pick, don't worry. Just click on the color selector that usually pops up. This handy tool lets you visually pick any color you like from a palette, so you can experiment until you find the perfect shade. Once you've chosen your color, hit enter to save your changes. Instantly, you'll see the button on the website change to your new color. No page refresh needed. And bam, you've just given that button a vibrant makeover. 
It's amazing how a simple color change can make something stand out or feel brand new. But why stop there? You can also change the text color, the border color, or even add a shadow for extra flair. Try making the text white for contrast, or give the border a neon glow. If you're feeling adventurous, adjust the button's shape by changing the border radius. Make it perfectly round, or give it soft, pillowy edges. The possibilities are endless. It's like being let loose in a digital paint shop. With just a few clicks, you can turn any dull button into a work of art. So go ahead, experiment, and see how creative you can get with your color choices. The web is your canvas. Now before you go around thinking you're some kind of internet hacker extraordinaire, we need to have a little chat about the nature of these changes. Remember how I said it's like writing on a photocopy? Well, think of the inspect element changes as scribbling on a thin sheet of plastic wrap stretched over the website. You can see your changes, but they only exist on your screen. As soon as you refresh the page or navigate away, all your handiwork disappears. Poof, gone like a magician's rabbit. Why? Because you're not actually changing the website's code stored on the server. You're just temporarily modifying how your browser displays it to you. It's like changing the channel on your TV. It doesn't affect what anyone else is watching on their TVs. All right, now that we've got the disclaimer out of the way and you understand how Inspect Element works, let's talk about using your newfound powers responsibly. Just because you can change things on a website doesn't mean you should, especially if it involves deceiving others or breaking the law. Think of it this way. Would you walk into a shop, stick a fake price tag on something, and try to buy it at the lower price? Of course not. That's stealing. Similarly, using inspect element to manipulate information on a website for personal gain or to mislead others is unethical and potentially illegal. Don't be a Wally. Use your powers for good, not evil. Stick to harmless pranks and explorations and leave the serious stuff to the professionals. Well, there you have it, folks. You've just scratched the surface of the wonderful world of inspect element. Remember, the internet is an amazing playground for learning and exploration. Don't be afraid to experiment, to poke around, and to satisfy your curiosity. But as with all things in life, it's important to use your powers responsibly and ethically. The internet is a shared space, and our actions have consequences. So go forth, my digital explorers, and have fun. Just remember to be respectful, be responsible, and above all, don't be a Wally. Thanks for watching and learning with me. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. I value your feedback. Cyber Defense.